It means it means a lot to me, you know. Uh, I'm a native kid. I'm from Alabama, and just to play for the state of Alabama, and let alone Auburn, it means a lot to me. Jason, Nathan King, Auburn two four seven. What's it been like having Jimmy Brombaugh? Sort of, you know, obviously you were with him at Oregon, and mm -hmm. now you guys are able to transition to Auburn together. What has that process been like for for both y'all, and how have you kind of seen him work as well coming over to Auburn? Well, uh, as you know, I did have him last year. So it made the transition and process a whole lot easier because um, I could, like, as far as drills, when he wanted me to demonstrate, I could demonstrate them because I did them last year when it came to the footwork, hands, all that, all that stuff uh, that you need as a defensive lineman. Um, he had me demonstrate that and showed the guys last year. So um, and as far as him, you know, now the room, I would say, is pretty much his. So... Um, we work on like a, ver a variety of things when it comes to hands, uh, hips, hands, feet, and everything. So, yeah. The funny thing is, like, I had I had no clue that DJ or Robbie was coming. I just, you know, I committed. I believe it was December twenty fourth. But having them over here, it means a lot. I, I used to room with DJ James, and I love him. I'm, I love him to death. He's a great player, amazing player. At the end of the day, it's still Division One football for me. I mean, you're going to go against teams who have different schemes, different formations, different everything. So it's all the same thing. But getting my first start, you know, it means a lot to me. I put in a lot of work. Me and my teammates put in a lot of work this, this off season. You know, um, we, we busted our butts all the way from January to the decks uh, in, in June and July and all through fall camp. Jason, uh, Matt Turner from the Montgomery Air what, what What has it been like to sort of work with Colby and Marcus on that, on that D line in particular? What have you sort of been able to learn from those two um, as guys who are sort of back as starters? Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of people don't know this, but I, I look up to Colby and Marcus, you know, a lot because. Um, even me transitioning over from the Pac-12 to the SEC, they showed me a lot of different things. And uh, when it comes to playing in this league, you know, and I, I watch film on them, especially Kobe and Marcus, um, and they did some great things last year, and I just can't wait to get in the field with them on Saturday. Is there anything SEC-specific that you think you've learned from them just about playing the position? Hey, this it's, it's a different league. That's, that's what I learned. It's, it's a whole different league. Jason, advice will weigh on that comment. What are you most looking forward to, besides actually playing the game, what are you most looking forward to about Saturday? You know, uh, I tell people this all the time, and being 2,000 miles away from home is kind of hard, especially for my parents. So I'm just I'm happy that my parents are able to travel to, um, to games this season, a lot of games this season, or whether that's in Mississippi or Georgia. I think our farthest game away is Mississippi, if I'm not mistaken. So I... You know, it means a lot to me to have my family there. Jason Jeff Shear from HonorTigers.com. What will fans see individually from you? What, what, what elements of the football do you like to find yourself? I mean, as, as you can see, I'm a big person. So uh, I, I take up a lot of, you know, a lot of people as what people say. I take up a lot of blocks, but I don't think that it, I don't really think much about it. I just do my job as it is. And just keep pushing each each and every day. Jason, what led you to Oregon in the first place? Can you repeat that, please? How did you end up going to Oregon? 
Um, it was. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think I want to answer that. I'm sorry. Um, could, could you like word that in a way, please? Like somehow. You want me to repeat it? Did you say? No, I, just, I. I don't. I don't know the best way to answer that because it's a long story. So you know what I mean. Yeah. Jason, when you look at, at Tate Johnson, mm -hmm. what what is, what do you notice about him from the spring to now as he gets ready for his first start as well? You know, it's funny. I talked to Morris Joseph about this yesterday, and for some reason he's getting a whole lot heavier to move and stuff. And I, I think the experience, you know, like he's just in a short amount of time, Tate's grown so much, and people don't realize that. And I really feel like he's ready to show a lot of people uh, throughout this season, even to, uh, on Saturday. So he's a guy that, that plays bigger than his listed size? Oh, yeah, for sure. He's, again, like he's gotten a whole lot heavier. He's gotten a whole lot uh, technical, too. Like he's starting to pick up on, on stuff from the spring till now. And he, again, he's, he, he's an amazing player. I love him to death. Jason, uh, what did you see going up against TJ uh, throughout the uh, like, what have you been seeing his game? And like, where is he growing from? What you can see from having Well, watching film from last year and watching and watching him this year, he seems a whole lot more comfortable in the pocket, you know. And um, and he's he's very verbal when before the snap, what you want from a quarterback, you know what I mean. And I, I trust him, and I don't know why anybody else wouldn't trust him. So. Hey, Just, you know, we talk about defensive line as a group, but uh, how good can you be? Uh, what are your expectations? How, how good we can be? I mean, I, I feel like we can be the best in, in the league, personally. I mean, as, as far as a whole unit standpoint, though, you know, um, if the D line does their job, if the DBs do their job, if everyone does their job, we can be the best in the league, no doubt, in my head. You know what I mean? Um, it just it takes everybody, and not just one person wanting to be a hero, then messing up, getting out of a gap, getting wanting to play something that they're not, not communicating, and that's where you, and that's where you see a lot of defenses mess up. So I, I personally, I do feel that we we can be the best in the league. How's the depth and up front on the interior? Mm. I mean, as, as you know, we've got me, Marcus Colby, you have Jeffrey, Marquise Burks, Mar Marquise Robinson, uh, uh, Morris Joseph from Memphis. Um, again, I trust everybody, you know, and I feel like we've gotten everyone ready and prepared to play. Um, and just the, the growth from the beginning of fall camp to now is, you know, significant. So. Actually, um, so when you were coming here and you decided to get here, this right when a lot of the stuff happened back in February, did that kind of make you vacillate or did that firm your decision to stay? What do you mean by that? You come into all my transfer apart, all this stuff with Harson and that whole mess and that. Well, I remember talking to Harson uh, when I committed, and I told him that I trusted him because I've seen what he did up in you know Boise State and. Just speaking on the past, I saw what he did up in Boise State, and there's no doubt in my mind that he that he can do it here. You know what I mean? And again, I, I trust the man. He he loves me. I love him, and that's just the, the relationship part. But um, again, like uh, I I don't really look back at that stuff, and I'm I'm here to look you know forward and see what this team can do today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. So I don't really look back at what happened in the past. Thanks, guys.